morning. Welcome to another weekly vlog, starting as always in the bathroom. I thought I'd quickly run you through my skincare this morning as I do it because I always forget to share it and I always say I'm going to. So I thought I'd quickly just do it while everything's in front of me and get to it and just because it's a bit easier right now. So I have four little steps of my morning routine, which I've started to kind of form over the last falling on me uh, which i started to form over the last i'd say two months so i used to be quite sporadic with morning skincare but always good at evening but i've perfected the morning so i'm going to talk you through it first up i use the zeland pha plus bio peel resurfacing facial pads i was gonna say i can't remember for the life of me what it's called without looking at it but these are basically just really gorgeous little pads that are so nice and cold first thing in the morning they have like a slight amount of serum on them so they're really good at just like working on your skin and also it's really gross when you look at how much comes off your skin so like when you rub your face you can see like a little bit of dirt which is really gross because obviously double cleansing in the evening and stuff you wouldn't expect there to be that much but it's quite nice it's nice and like relaxing i really enjoy it and i think in each one there's 50 so they last for 50 days which is quite a good amount of time they're like a new edition um the zellens products but i did used to have what did i used to use before that oh i used this one i was using the biolumin c from dermalogica and this which is the lms Pro Collagen Advanced Eye Treatment. They were the two steps that I switched out. So that's really great. That's the first step. Second step, I do this one, which is the High Potency Vitamin C, which is just literally like a little pumpy serum bottle that gives you the amount that you need. And then it's just a really nice kind of soft serum, which goes on really nicely. It goes on really like creamy. Not, not creamy. How do I explain it? Like it's really... <laughs> You know some serums kind of drag on your skin. This one doesn't drag, it just like goes on really nicely. I really like it. I think it's like really nice and smooth and like just soft. But Zellens is a new brand I haven't really tried before. So they're one that I'm currently testing. So, so far so good. I really like how my skin is looking at the moment. Which obviously you can't put down to just one product when you use quite a few on your skin. But for now, I think they're doing really well. And I've noticed that, I mean, mine is this one spot here, which I don't know where it's come from the whole of my face just seems to be a lot more like brighter and fresher and just seems a lot more clear which is good the next step is my lms pro collagen marine cream so i actually bought a little beauty box of lms from qpc before christmas so they had a big box of it that was like produced by a crazy amount and i've never really tried lms before so i thought i'd get it and just see if i like the products and then i know to invest in the future so i bloomin love them they're honestly Obviously, I know I'm using other skincare brands as well on my face, but they are up there as my current favourite because all of their products are so nice and so, like, soft and just, oh, I love it. Like, this moisturiser is so creamy and so, like, oh, it just sinks in really nice and quick. And it's so big that I've been, use I've been using this since December and it's barely even dented. So that's how little I need to use and that's how good it is at lasting and then the final step of my morning routine is the ren brightening dark circle eye cream which is a new in addition as well and it's so nice it's just really nice and like it's quite a thick eye cream but it's nice because it just kind of adds to the vitamin c-ness of the serum and just helps to brighten up a little bit more which i like we love a good brightening and then my last step is basically just whacking on an spf unless i'm using tinted moisturizer because my tinted moisturizer has it in so if i use that i won't put spf but otherwise i do I tend to use it every single day just because I think you need to look after your skin especially because like even when it's cloudy the sun can be damaging and I've just got into such a good routine of using it every day so <laughs> I'm going to continue doing so I'm going to quickly do my face and then I'll catch back up with you because I need to do my makeup I'm going to be filming reels all day so I need to sort this out I have filmed two reels that's very good going when I'm so not in the mood to work like this pandemic this lockdown specifically has just been so challenging. I found it so hard to find motivation to do anything. Like any single thing, like any task is just taking me five times longer to try and do and it's just draining. So the fact I've done two is really good going. I'm gonna quickly have a pause because I need to send some tax stuff to my management, like various little bits and pieces that I need to do for like random taxi things. I'm in a bra, yes, I'm in sweat for leggings and a bra. <laughs> I'm midway through changing for reels and we've decided to head out for a little walk and to go to the bank because we need to get some bits sorted, head over to 
maybe Starbucks and get a coffee en route. Go kind of like a little round of the block once and just have a little like fresh air in our lungs before we continue the day because sometimes that's what you need. You just need that little bit of fresh air in your lungs to like perk you back up a bit. I'm having a bit of a <laughs> morning. I'm having one of those days where like everything I want to achieve it's so dark in my flat, I can't do anything. I also still have not found the top of that tripod, like the little plate bit that connects your camera. So I've had to order a whole new tripod because I just, I can't find it and without it, I can't use my tripod. And I don't wanna risk ordering like the little plate things and then it's the wrong size or something because it's a bit big. So I've gotta wait for that to come, which hopefully should be here tomorrow, along with my new G7X. So I didn't actually update you on the new camera thing. So I said, obviously when I got 100K, I would buy a new camera and I did buy a new camera. I bought the Sony, I can't remember which one it was, but I bought the Sony vlogging one, which is supposed to be really, really good. And I just didn't like it. I put my memory card in and did like two different clips, like one in really low light, one in like normal light and just compared to like the Canon. I don't think it was as good. I personally think the Canon was better. And I also found that it was like too zoomed in. So like where I could film like this on here, it was literally like this. And it was just too close. Like I know to be fair, sometimes I do film like this, but it was, it was way too close. So it kind of just annoyed me. And I thought I'd rather send it back and just get another G7X because it's so expensive. So that I've got to send back tomorrow. Tomorrow the new G7X will be turning up, which is great because this one I love and it's, so it's lasted me four odd years now. It's the first vlogging camera I bought and it's done well. It's just, it needs, it's on its last legs. It needs replacing. So I'm gonna keep it as a backup, but obviously I'm gonna be getting the new one through that hopefully should be a lot better quality and a lot less battered. This one is, when I get the new camera, I will show you the state of this one, but the screen's broken, the like screen keeps falling off, the shutter doesn't open properly, so every beginning of clip I have to be like this. It's seen a lot. It's been to many, many countries with me. It has seen its fair share of things. So maybe it's time it needs a replace, but we're gonna head out. I'm gonna chuck on a jumper quickly and head out. I'm literally just gonna put on this one, the first one I grab and go to the shop. We've just been out for our little walk and safe to say my hair is now a fluffy, deflated, not curly anymore mess. But I picked up some bits for lunch, so that will obviously be in the What I Eat in a Week video. But I'm gonna get down and eat some lunch and have another coffee because I'm so tired. I think I need a cup of tea. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. Yeah, I need it. It's quarter to six and I have just done a one hour workout. So I basically missed, I'm doing like a 30 day program, no, not a 30 day, a 12 week program. And I basically missed yesterday. So I did two in one day. So it ended up being like 50 minutes, which is a long workout very very tired now but we're just about to start dinner i say we're just about to start dinner is being cooked i'm quickly gonna have some mango that i picked up yesterday in aldi just because i really feel like some sweet mango-ness in my life and i'm currently chugging on my second liter bottle of water of the day so trying to get as much water in as possible because i've had about three or four coffees today evidence in front of me but I'll show you what dinner is. So we're actually doing one of our mindful chef recipes, which is this one. So it's hot smoked salmon with fresh pea and rocket penne. So we've got a vegan basil pesto, just cause I obviously can't have the dairy. And then we've got all the other bits going on. We've got one with pasta in and one with giant couscous, cause I want a giant couscous. And then this is the salmon. They're actually really big pieces of salmon, which is good. Cause sometimes you get really tiny pieces, but this is the brand of this one. So very excited, very healthy. Yeah, hey, this is dinner. So I have got giant couscous peas, sweet corn. I actually put lemon and herb Nando sauce in because I didn't fancy pesto, lol at me. Look very, very different. His looks much more appealing, but even so. Good morning, guys. You are a slightly different position on the countertop today. I am up quite nice and early. So it's only half eight and I'm already like wide awake, ready to go. The camera's slipping. <laughs> there we go. It is half eight, like I said. I'm up, I'm ready to go. I'm excited for a new day and just getting on with loads of different things. So I'm actually going to shoot today and it's gonna be the first time I do spring content, which I'm really excited about. And the first time, oh, that's strong coffee. And the first time I've shot in quite a while. So I'm really excited to get out and do some bits. And it's also really nice because the weather's really nice today. Like the sun's out, it's really beautiful outside. So it's just gonna be a nice, like a nice day to shoot content, I think, hopefully. So very, very excited, but I do currently look like this. So I need to go sort the situation out ASAP because I've got a call in 10 minutes with my accountant. Ugh. So I'm gonna hopefully try and get my face done before the call and then hopefully just try and like get everything else done really quickly as well. Wish me luck. I wondered what it's like to go on a shoot. I literally have to lug this gigantic bag. Let me try and show you how big it actually is. It's heavy as anything, but this is basically the bag that I lug with me and then this has got all my stuff in. So I basically put that in the boot and then that is like 
it opens at the front it's a really handy bag actually they're from ikea and i basically just pull stuff out and shoot it and then shove it back in so when i come home it never looks this tidy and it normally ends up with stuff being left in the car because it doesn't all ever fit to go back but for the right for the most part this is what it's like and that basically just fills my entire boot then and i can just pull out and put back in and stuff i have thought about sometimes doing it with my seats down but I just, I don't know, I never have done. Sometimes I put it on the back seat, but for ease, it's just easier to chuck it in the back and not have to like worry about trying to get it in and out of a three door car. <laughs> also, I just noticed something that I wanna show you because it's really, really cute. So it's no secret that I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So is my boyfriend who, <laughs> yes, we now know his name. Um, we got this made by someone on Etsy, which I'll leave linked down below. It was 8 99 for two prints and you basically can customise these completely. So you can customise what sits next to you, um, what's in your hand, what colour scarf you've got, what hair you've got. So this is what we ended up with. The only thing that I was kind of like, I wish I could have picked the length of the hair, which you couldn't. So mine ended up being really long, but I really like it. So he's a Gryffindor, I'm a Ravenclaw and you've got little snowy Hogwarts, but it's a really cute print. So I've got one in my house, he's got one in his house. And I just think it's a really nice little personalized thing to have. But I'll leave a link so you can get one if you want one, because it makes a really cute gift. And you can do them singular, you can do them as a couple, you can do family ones. I think the max you can have is six people and they obviously do it slightly differently. And you can also have pets on there. So definitely worth having a little look at if you are a Harry Potter fan, because it's a really, really cool idea. I need to get dressed. I'm faffing like you wouldn't believe, so I need to get dressed. <laughs> I've literally got like a curtain of clothing in my door of my office because I've been trying to get bits on and off and all that kind of stuff, so <sighs> bit of a palaver. Right, let me get dressed. Okay guys, this is the worst angle ever, but this is what we're gonna have to work with because I'm obviously driving and you're propped up on the like dashboard bit but obviously i'm on my way to shoot now as you can probably tell and i'm so excited because it's such good weather today like it's just really nice and bright and beautiful and oh i just love it i love when it's sunny and i love when the radio has good music on and everyone's just in a better mood when it's sunny i feel like everyone is just in a better mood and especially me like i'm in such a good mood and it's really nice to shoot when it's sunny because then all the pictures aren't like doom and gloom like <laughs> i shot a couple of weeks ago and all the pictures i did are very not doom and gloom but they're very like gray because obviously there's not really much else we can do to be honest but it's so much nicer when it's blue skies on your feed and it just looks a lot brighter and more like happy and everything so i'm heading over to i think we're going to do trafalgar square today which is exciting haven't done trafalgar square in a little while it's just one of my favorite spots because it's really easy to shoot and there's so many like really nice little places around there the only problem is we shoot with cars we park in the same place and then we'll get out take pictures change in the car like very very safe very distant like we don't really like come into contact as such like i'll give her my phone and we sanitize and all that kind of thing like we're very very safe but the only people we've literally seen are each other and i see my social bubble and she sees her housemate and that's literally it so we're not seeing other people or anything it's just obviously we still have to do our job and i do get my boyfriend to do a lot of my pictures now because it's just easier but i also do occasionally use this one friend so it is very safe i promise like we're still kind of sticking to as it should be i'm gonna get back to listening to the radio and i'll catch up with you on shoot i also might have my naked bar because i've got one here i think i've got the peanut one yeah the peanut one that i'm gonna have now <laughs> we are on outfit five of seven it's so windy and it's becoming quite hard to shoot because it's just so 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 windy but the sun is out so it's beautiful and i'm just really enjoying being in the sun to be honest and just like having a day of shooting where it's not freezing cold like it's cold but it's not unbearable whereas before it was like unbearable i'm just shooting a couple of looks i've got a little black number on right now have been hit on it was a bit awkward literally came up to the car while i was like changing my tights probably saw quite a lot and asked if i was single obviously i said no <laughs> i'm not i'm gonna put this on and get going good morning it's wednesday and i am so tired today i can't tell you i literally have no energy i feel like a zombie walking i just have no energy to do anything like i can't be bothered to put makeup on I can't be bothered to tan, I can't be bothered to do work, I can't be bothered to make lunch. Just, I've got no energy. It's how the day's going. Recurring theme, lack of energy. <laughs> Category is lack of energy. But in all honesty, like, I'm making a joke out of it, but I'm absolutely exhausted. I think, uh, I'm in two minds about retiring all plans for the day and just spending the day on the sofa editing because that seems like a fairly, like, relaxing task to do. And then tomorrow I can tackle the bulk of things. 
I don't know, I think oh, I need to like sit down and almost like plan out my week. But then I find that really hard to do because some days I've just got absolutely zero energy, which having spoke to other people, I think it's quite a normal thing in this lockdown. Like we're all just out of energy, out of motivation. Like we just can't be bothered and we're just exhausted all the time. I don't know, but I've just got back from Tesco's. I went into Tesco's on the way back from the post office and I picked up a couple of bits because they had some new vegan-y bits and I needed bread and ham and butter anyway, so I just got a few things. So I thought I'd share them with you so you can see what I got, which is kind of exciting because one of them I'm really excited for. Right, oh, it's very warm in here. I need to open a window in a minute. Okay, so first up I got bread. So I always buy this one, which is just the free from seeded. Next thing is these, I just got two bags of the corn pieces because I tend to put them in literally everything. I also got these, which I'm so excited about. So I headed into the normal vegetarian, like plant-based section. And I have to admit, having been shopping in that section for so many years, like I'm not, like I say in every video, I'm not vegan. I do still like chicken and I have salmon. However, I try for the most part to eat vegan things. So I eat chicken, I eat turkey, I eat salmon, I eat tuna. And that is literally the only types of meat that I consume. I don't even eat eggs because I can't have egg white. That's one of the triggers of my stomach. So that's kind of like the only four things that I have. And I try and have them in moderation. So I'll have chicken maybe once or twice a week. And then I'll have salmon like once in a blue moon, tuna once in a blue moon. But for the most part, which you'll see when you watch my white in a week video, I do tend to eat mostly plant-based I, I don't want to call it plant-based because i still have like honey sometimes and i still have like i mean that's literally the only animal product i actually eat some days is honey like even my butter and stuff is dairy free but anyway i'm off on a tangent so i went into that section to pick up my corn pieces and i found two other things which i've not seen before and i'm quite I, I've tried pretty much everything that I can possibly have obviously some of it's vegetarian and has cheese in or whatever but I've tried pretty much everything and I thought do you know what I'm just gonna pick up a couple of bits and see what they're like and see how I think they go um first was this which is from deliciously Ella so these are vegan gluten-free chocolate brownie at uh, chocolate cookies they did have chocolate brownies as well actually I didn't pick those up but these are basically just four chocolate chips that you bake at home at uh, four chocolate chips four chocolate chip cookies that you bake at home and they sound really good so I'm actually kind of excited they were like two pounds three pounds but I thought I'd give them a try four cookies will last me a while I think like I, apparently two cookies is one serving so we're gonna see what I think of those and then I've also got some salted caramel halo is it halo or oatly oatly salted caramel oatly yogurt um ice cream in the fridge freezer in the freezer god I can't even speak <laughs> this sounds like the zombie state but I've got that and it's really really good so I think that'll be quite nice with cookies and then I also picked up this which is pumpkin and spinach I guess burgers but they're pumpkin spinach mixed vegetables in puff quinoa coating and full of flavor so they're vegan low in sugar source of fiber I'm assuming they're gluten free no they have spelt flour which has gluten but do you know what it's a tiny bit so I'm sure it'll be okay but I thought I'd give them a go then I picked up some more peanut butter but I saw this one which has honey in it I bloomin love honey it's my favorite little sweet thing and I just I don't know I'm a bit of a sucker for like things like this <laughs> they also had like goo puddings like you know the goo little jar puddings they had a spread of that which was hazelnut and chocolate or something and it looked insane but obviously I didn't get it and then I picked up a giant almond butter this was eight pounds which is so expensive and I do wish that I'd gone online and looked on Amazon or something because you can get the big tubs of Meridian for cheaper but I just got this one because I really needed some almond butter and yeah <laughs> I bought big tub but this one I was really impressed with because I've never seen one that's with honey before and I thought it'd be really nice to try so that's my little Tesco shop and I also did actually get let me show you I got two things the other day on the subject of like vegan dairy free things like I'm so impressed with how much there is now like there's so much variety and there's so many options for gluten dairy free like soya free all those kind of things like there's literally so many options and I bloody love it because it means I can actually eat like a normal human being and I can have really good tasty food that's not like limiting because I find before when I first started like realizing that dairy was a big issue it was really really hard like when I was younger you couldn't get anything especially when I was in uni I found it really difficult to find anything because obviously you try and shop as cheap as possible and I just ended up having like avo toast all the time or 
like corn pieces with veggies like i was eating such a boring meals but now you can get a lot of options and these were two that i was really impressed with because i've not seen them before so i headed down the baking aisle because the baking aisle was always where the long life milk is and i always browse and i always think about getting cookies and stuff and i spotted the top shelf had some like new things on it and when I show you the packaging, you're going to be like, that is such a, like, vegan packaging. Because I find vegan packaging just all kind of looks quite similar. So, I found these two. First is Creative Nature. So, these are vegan, gluten, dairy, nut safe, chia and cacao chocolate chip brownie baking mix. And it's got ingredients on the back that says, to make it vegan, you add this. To make it normal, you add this. You can put, you can put eggs and butter in. Or you can put flaxseed, water, dairy-free spread, etc. So, it tells you both ways to make it. And then I also got this one, which was oat and cranberry cookie mix. And this one is dairy-free, gluten-free, vegan-friendly again. And it also says, for making it not vegan, add this. Making it vegan, add this. I really like that. I'm actually... Ugh. These have been in the cupboard for like a week. And I'm just... I'm trying to not use them straight away. I'm trying to like wait for a weekend when I'm bored and want to bake or something. Rather than just doing it for the sake of it. But they both sound really good. And honestly, I'm just so impressed. I didn't think this would turn into a whole chatty segment about food. But... I'm just so impressed with how many options there are nowadays and how easy it is to eat dairy free, gluten free, etc. Like it just blows my mind. It makes it a lot harder to avoid those things because there's so many options around there that you can have. I don't really know what to have now. Part of me really wants cookies because they just look so good. <laughs> they also had brownies, but I just didn't get the brownies. I just got the cookies because I thought cookies I'm more likely to more likely to have now. Whereas the brownies, I don't know if I've got space in my freezer for one. But the brownies is like a weekend treat, I feel. So I might get them when I get back in. But <sighs> yeah, that's my little Wednesday chat for you. I'm going to make myself a little coffee. Decaf, which very proud of myself. I'm still yet to touch normal coffee. I haven't had a normal coffee since maybe like late November, early December, which is quite a long time. So very impressed with myself. The only caffeine I do have is if I go to my boyfriend's and I have a cup of tea because he also has decaf coffee there for me. But that's the only time I have caffeine. All I have now is decaf tea and decaf coffee. <laughs> I'm turning into my mum. My mum started when I was younger. I remember her being like, yeah, I don't have sugar in my tea or my coffee. And I was like, that's really weird. And mum was like, wait till you get older. You won't like it either. And now I have tea and coffee without any sugar. Occasionally I put a bit of honey in, but most part, no. And she also started having decaf and I was like, why would you have decaf? That's so pointless. And now I have decaf and I'm like, oh God, maybe I need to start listening to her because I'm turning into her. <laughs> anyway, let's put this away. Something exciting has just come and I cannot wait to start using it. So I think I mentioned the other day that I bought a new G7X, which is very exciting. I honestly the one i'm using right now i love so much but it's so battered and it just really needs replacing every time i turn it on i have to flick the little like opening bit because it doesn't open properly like there's so many issues with it so I'm very excited to finally have a new one and then i also got if i can reach it a new tripod because my current tripod which you can kind of see stood in the corner is actually broken so the top got broken by someone previously and um I've now lost the top, so I don't know where it is. I've got no idea. I'm probably gonna find it when I open this one and start using it, but it never hurts to have two different tripods, especially when hopefully the top of this one I can put on that one, and then I've got like two different variations depending on like, I don't know, maybe one's lighter than the other, I don't know. Maybe I'll just get rid of the other, I don't know. But this is the new one. So we've got an attachment for a mobile, very, very, needed a necessity when it comes to instagram and stuff i've actually already got one of those but like i said never hurts to have two and then this is the tripod which i believe goes to the same height as the other one but i'm not 100 percent sure i'll leave a link to both down below but this is the newer one obviously which i'm hoping is going to be a bit more like substantial all this plastic smells funny smells like you know when you get like fishy smelling plastic <laughs> this is the new one which is very sturdy i do think it goes to the same height but i'm not 100 percent sure and i also like that this one goes a lot easier to the side so my other one is on like a little rotation ball head and when you put it to the side to do like portrait clips it doesn't properly go 
so this one i can obviously go perfectly to the side which is perfect and it's just very like sturdy and i like it it feels like it's going to be really good I've got a carry case as well always essential i feel like this is more essential if you're an actual photographer but it is quite handy to have because it means it just gets put away in the corner and then you can't see it that one actually does have a carry case it's just not currently in it i'm currently watching the bachelorette the new season is apparently very explosive so i've just started i've just got to the point where she's met them all and said that she thinks she knows her husband is in the room and exciting <laughs> i went for the mark ii again because personally i've always used g7x mark ii i love it so much i did actually buy the mark iii which i occasionally use in videos but the autofocus even though i've tried to fix it is still so annoying so i think that one i'm just gonna sell because even though i've tried to update it and fix it and all that kind of stuff it's still just it's not something that we like using very much it just feels so, it feels heavier actually it just looks so much nicer like it looks so much more fresh and clean the screen now flips up and it's actually there and it's not like ah oh, what a dream of a camera it's honestly just the most like i just love it the reason i did opt for this in the end over the sony one that i bought is because the sony one the camera flipped out to the side which i found quite annoying because i tend to look at the camera screen so like i tend to look when i'm filming in this bit just because it means I can check that I'm in focus, I can check that I'm in shot and all that kind of stuff. And personally, I just, I don't know, it's just a habit. So when I got the other one, I found I was constantly looking to the side and I did do two clips on that camera just to kind of test out the lighting and stuff in different parts of my house and whatever. And I noticed that I, it was quite distracting that I kept looking to the side. And I also found it very like close in on my face. So like as I'm sat now, it would be almost like I'm here so i'd have to like literally hold the camera so far away so like hold the tripod and have the camera literally as far away as i could to get any kind of scene in the shot i just thought go back to what you know keep it trusty at the product that you know works and basically just upgraded what i have after four years so it's had a long run but this one i'm gonna retire now and we're gonna start filming on the new one we'll see if you notice a difference can you tell a difference ah I'm so excited. I feel like even just looking at the quality, it's so much better. Like if I flick this one on, oh, I've took the battery out. Damn it. Anyway, this is the old one. I don't know if you can really see the extent of how damaged this old one is. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, this is like completely battered. The camera doesn't actually go in fully. Let me just turn the brightness up a bit so you can see. The camera back doesn't actually go in fully. Like I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of like on an angle. And when you flip it up, it goes too far over where it's been dropped a few times. It also has been glued here several times because the screws came loose. So it's got glue on it. There's also glue across this. And if you can see, it's just like really bashed. Like there's just a million and one things wrong with it basically, but it's retired. It's gonna be going into hiding temporarily and it's gonna become like my backup camera. So if for whatever reason I need it, I've got this one or for example if I'm doing like some montage -y clips and I want two different viewpoints it's good to have but it's really nice to be able to fully see the screen but I'm very grateful to have a new one so excited I love having new cameras it just feels all like fresh and new and it makes me want to film loads so hope you enjoy there's going to be a lot of clips today after my exhaustion i ended up cleaning the whole house which actually made me feel a bit better because i think sometimes all you need to do is clean the house and you just feel miles better than you originally did so that's really helped and i feel really good so i'm actually having dinner now which is last night's leftovers so nothing too exciting just my little chick tea thing that i made yesterday but i love leftovers i think they're the best thing ever because you don't have to cook <laughs> And it's like not a takeaway, so it's not unhealthy, but you don't have to cook, so it's great. I'm also watching Teen First Dates at the moment, which I'm finding a little bit boring, but I'm basically just watching it for now, and then I'm going to go and jump in the bar and read some of my book, because I'm trying to read at the moment Ghosts, but I've also got one called The Comparison Cure, which is on the go. I basically, when I'm reading, try to have like one of each, so I try and have one mindset book and one like immerse yourself in a different world kind of book, just because I think... Sometimes it's really nice to have a mix of both and I try and kind of alternate between the two But the comparison one I'm reading at the moment is quite like word heavy and there's a lot of like theories and stuff in it So I'm loving it and I am getting through it and I'm really enjoying it 
but I'm definitely needing the little break every now and then of the escapism of another book. And I think, you know, you just have one of those days where you're, you want to read, but you want to read to escape. You don't want to read to learn. So it's kind of the contrast of the two, but today I'm reading to escape. <laughs> I'm just going to take a moment and give myself a little pat on the back because I just did the dishwasher a task I absolutely hate and I did it. <laughs> it sounds so stupid and so trivial, but I hate, hate the dishwasher. Like I don't mind loading it, but unloading it and refilling it, no, not for me. I don't like unloading it and putting things away. Same with washing, like I've done all my washing today, which is here. I don't mind doing my washing, but I hate putting my washing away. It's very win-win, very win-lose, lose-win, win-lose, I don't know. It's a very strange situation. I just don't, I like doing one task and not the other. So. This morning has been quite a busy one. So I've been doing my washing in and around doing reels. I've also had a call with my mortgage advisor who is actually really, really lovely. He was recommended to me by my accountant and I've had maybe three phone calls with him now and emails like kind of every single day about different aspects. And he's been so helpful, I can't even tell you. Like even little things I would never have thought of, like making sure that I improve my credit score, which sounds really stupid to say that, but I kind of just thought, oh, my credit score is my credit score. Like, I don't need to improve it. Whereas, like, talking to him, he's like, why don't you try this and this and this? And it will help you get a better mortgage, blah, blah, blah. Very, very stupid, obvious things, but I just hadn't thought of them. And um, just little things down to, like, maybe I should save, like, a bigger deposit because I'm self-employed. And he said, like, obviously getting a 5% deposit when you're self-employed is near impossible. So he said aim for, like, 10 to 15%. So we were working out what that would be, working out what the fees would be on top of that um discussing like various bits and pieces and honestly he's just been so helpful so definitely glad i've got him because otherwise i'd just be saving towards a deposit and then i'd start looking for a mortgage and just be completely clueless so it's really helped but there's like issues with my credit report where things have been listed twice and various hoo-hahs so i've been trying to sort that this morning and it's now got to half two and i'm only just eating for the first time in the day which is so bad because i've been trying to have breakfast every day but I just, Alexa, stop. I just got so sidetracked with sorting things out today. So, like I said, doing reels and YouTube videos, having my little lunch break, and then I'm gonna get back on it. And I'm filming a H&M haul, which is what this is. And then I'm also gonna film my most worn designer bags video because I wear a lot of designer bags on like rotation, but I wanted to share with you like my top three that I wear all the time because I think it'd be really helpful for you guys if you're looking to make an investment in a bag to see bags in use and to know kind of what what they're like when you use them. So very excited to film that in a minute. <sighs> Lunch is nearly done. Good morning, guys. Actually, it's not even morning. That's such a lie. It's half three, but it is the most beautiful day. I don't know if you can see the sun like streaming through my window there. It's so nice outside. It's really warm. It's just, oh, it's so nice. So luckily, uh, I mean, luckily the weather was good today and luckily I shot today. We went on a little shoot around Bank, which is a really beautiful area of London that I use quite a lot for pictures and loved it. Such a good shoot day. Really, really good. Love all the content that we got. I did actually forget a pair of leggings, so I had to do two outfits less than I'd originally planned, but sometimes these things happen. You just got to grin and bear and just get on with it. So I did only get four outfits done instead of six, but it's fine. <laughs> but I've just sat down for the first time today and I just feel really good. Like it's really good weather today. Like I feel a bit angsty, but I think it's just because I haven't really eaten anything. So I'm going to get myself something in a sec, but I've got a call with my management. I'm going to edit a couple of videos and I'm just going to chill. I feel really weird. Like I feel like I'm on the edge of being really anxious, but I'm trying really hard not to be. So I'm just like letting it be there and just letting it like gloss over. Cause that's what therapists tell you to do, isn't it? Like acknowledge it, but don't give into it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm acknowledging it and I'm not giving into it. So it can just sit there for a bit and just be there. What was I going to say? I can't remember. I can't remember what I was gonna say, but I'm gonna crack on and edit and eat, take my, eat my vitamins, take my vitamins and get some avo toast or something to eat, just cause I've got an avocado that needs using up and my little sunflower rye bread also needs using up. So that's gonna be my late lunch slash early dinner. And I think for dinner, I'm just gonna have like chicken and veggies or something. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't really know what I'm gonna eat for dinner. I've got chicken I need to use up, but I don't know what I'm gonna put it with. Good evening guys. It's obviously Friday night tonight and I thought I would do something a little bit different and a little bit special because every day is seemingly the same at the moment and it's getting a bit tedious doing the same thing every week. So my boyfriend actually finishes work at seven and he should be getting here for like eight, half eight. So I thought what I'd do is set up a really cute situ in the living room and make it like a really cozy, like cute little date night and 
do what we normally do in terms of like watching TV, but just make it really cute. So I'm gonna put like some snacks and stuff over on the table, which I think I'm gonna move like over to one side so it's a bit easier to grab. I'm gonna bring the duvet in or like just put loads of blankets and stuff and just make it like a really cozy, like cozy little space and put like fairy lights around and stuff. Just so it's like a really nice different kind of night. And obviously light all the candles and stuff and just make it all cute and cozy. Um, I'm hyping this a lot more than I need to because it's probably gonna look really average but I just thought it'd be really nice to do something different and have a little kind of slight date night but inside and it will also be a nice surprise when he gets back because he's not I, haven't, I mean I haven't seen him in literally like the whole week I think the last time I saw him was Monday morning Monday afternoon so it's been a while and I'm very excited I'm missing all your energy. That's all I want. That's all I want. Promise I am not your enemy. I just need another memory. That's all I want. Cause all I want is you.